What's going on guys? Today I'm starting a video series that focuses on my favorite platform, the Tipman M4. I'm going to cover everything from installing the right modifications for peak performance, all the way to things like how to custom cut your own outer barrels. Today's video focuses on a rate of fire and feet per second increase mod known as the Tipman M4 buffer tube spacer. I'm going to walk through how to properly install the Tipman buffer tube spacer as well as test it against a stock buffer tube setup to get real feedback on exactly how this mod will affect the performance of your Tipman. Let's start off with a side by side comparison so you can see for yourself the results of installing this mod into a Tipman. On the chronograph now is a completely stock Tipman M4 lower receiver set at 0.8 joules. Now on the chronograph is the exact same setup, but with the Tipman 1 and 3 quarter inch buffer tube spacer installed. So as you can see, the average FPS without the spacer installed was 301.7 at 0.8 joules, and then the average FPS with the spacer installed was 357.9, that is roughly a 50 feet per second increase, which was accurately stated on the product page for this mod. Now like I said, I didn't install this spacer mod into my indoor Tipman build for the FPS boost. I did it for the rate of fire increase. Here are two Tipmans, one has the spacer mod installed and one is completely stock. The rate of fire adjustment screw is in the same position on both units. So let's see just how much faster the rate of fire is with the buffer tube spacer mod installed. This is without the spacer mod installed. And this is with the spacer mod installed. So now that you see exactly how this affects performance, let's walk through the installation process step by step. There are two sizes of spacers available from Tipman, a 3 quarter inch and a 1 and 3 quarter inch. I'm testing the 1 and 3 quarter inch spacer purchased directly from Tipman. Obviously, it is cheaper to make your own or buy your own spacer, but I only like to put Tipman approved products in my M4 as to not void the amazing Tipman warranty. So first thing we need to do is gain access to the buffer tube spring. To do this, we need to take the trigger box out of the lower receiver, a rather simple task. Break the Tipman down by punching out the two body pins. I set the entire upper receiver aside as it doesn't need any work. Remove the Allen screw located here to allow removal of the gas line and the input fitting. This is an assembly of three silver parts. I suggest cupping them with your hand as you pull them straight out, otherwise they may fly all over the place like mine did in this video. The assembly of these three silver parts should look like this, but if you're unsure, reassembly into the gun is shown later. Once that screw is removed, set it aside, and now you will be able to remove the selector switch. Simply flip the selector switch into semi and pull it out. With the selector switch now removed, the trigger grouping will lift up and out. Now that the trigger box won't obstruct the removal of the buffer tube spring, we can now pull the entire buffer tube spring assembly straight out. Setting everything else aside, we now have to open up the spring system to slide in our spacer.
Using an allen key, remove the end cap by unscrewing the screw located here at the front. This part is rather difficult to perform on camera, so I took it over to a vise for proper work. You need to hold the back of the spring assembly, as well as relieve all tension from the spring as you rotate the allen key to remove the screw. With the allen screw removed, the end cap will now come completely off, releasing all tension from the spring. I now completely remove the spring so that the buffer tube spacer can be slid down the rear of the bolt. I then slid the spring back on and took my pieces back over to the vise to get it put back together properly. The spring is now under a more significant amount of pressure which gives us the FPS increase as well as the rate of fire increase shown at the beginning of this video. It's that easy guys, the Tipman M4 1 and 3 quarter inch buffer tube spacer has been installed, tested, and approved. Now we reassemble the gun in the exact same way we just disassembled and it's time to go have some rapid fire fun. Thanks for checking out the video guys, many more Tipman tips and tricks to come, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.